Radio Joe, Mike, Ginger out and about. Old school Ginger Bushcraft. Right, so, I'm going to take you through my awning on my van. Um, every time I put some pictures up, there seems to be a little bit of interest in it. Uh, it's cheap as, cheap as cheap gets. We're talking for paint, extendable paint roller poles. I think they're coming at about a fiver each. This is the cheapest tar known to man. Uh, I think it was eight quid or something off eBay. And then there's a there's a length of uh, 25 mil aluminium box section from B and Q. Uh, and then there's a few other components, um, which I'll go through. I'll take you through. So, I'll get this wrapped back in, then I'll show you how it pulls out, then I'll walk you around the components so you can see what I've done. Um, there is room for improvement on this, but it's solid. I've had this in some pretty bad winds and it's, oh, it's solid. So, right, I'll get it wrapped up and I'll show you getting back out. Catch you in a bit. Right, so the roller pole components are as so some days with two matching ones of these. So what I did is because of the size of the the holes in the tap, the eyelids, so I've cut the section off what you put the roller on, and then I've glued and just put a grub screw in there. So that size fits that size perfectly. On the other end, I've cut, like there's normally like a loop on these handles. I don't really know what they're for. I don't know if they have a hanging up or what, but you'll see them anyway if you buy any. And then all I've done is I've just bolted into the end and cut the bolt top off. And that bit just goes into a hole what I've drilled in the 25 mil. So that's one of your components. That's one of your, so you've got, obviously got two of them. Like I say, you can make all these four of these out of the same poles, it's just I have a, I had two of each ones. Um, and your second pole, this is what I meant by on the other end, like you handled it where you can hang it up. So what I did with this one, is I've put a hole in the end, so that from when these are on the ground, you can go in through there, and you've got a diagonal stake into the ground and now I'm going to lift out at all. On the other end I've left the bit what goes onto this. There is probably a better way, there's probably better poles. And then these are called fisher bolts. So these have a screw in thread on one end and then just a standard thread on the other. So it's just a bar really. You don't need the thread, it's just a bar. But I just kept it long so that you guarantee it's going to get over. So there your legs. Well, that's the components really. It's easy. Anybody can do it. It's two minutes in a workshop. It's not a, a DIY project as such. It's just a, a real, I mean, it is a DIY project, but it's not something you need to be skilled for anything for. Um, this is how it looks up on the van. So, if the sun's not gonna kill it. If it rolls up, where I bolted the awning rail on, I bolted these straps with quick relief buckles on. So. There we go. So these type of quick release buckles. Once there's just a bit of strap, so that that's once that's wrapped up on there, that's not going anywhere. I travel motorways, I go to all sorts of meets, it's never moved once. So we've got one, one in the middle, two, oh, sunshine, sorry, one at this end, three. So I'll stick you there. Nice and tall. 
So I'll put these down, grab my legs, I'll see you the next step. So that's just a case of getting these summer light, they don't really matter, just put them like that. So it's like a shot of the van. As you go, it's not a problem. Well, I'll go, just for ease. I don't have one of these up there yet, so I can grab it. I mean, it would be nice if it all folded in together, but it's some yeah, work project you're doing yourself, so there's no. Right, so, what I'm going to do. Going through the hole, straight through, as you can see. And this one, just go over, over, pull it back a bit. There we go, and that's right down. So just lean that in, so it's all good stuff. I can get to this other one. And this is one handed, if you've got two people, it is a breeze. That's it, so straighten these up. That, if you just had guy lines on, you could use that just as that, just pull it out with guy line, and that would all. But this is what makes it easier. Well, well I think it's easier anyway. People might not think so, but I do. I might say, doing this on my own, but it can be done. That big one that's going in, so these feet fall on the tack. So from here, get them back out, into that, spread, you have to do all this stuff now. Tighten your extension parlour. I just straighten the legs out so I don't know what it's looking like at the minute, but take it. Tension everything up. These are looking a bit high, you want a bit of fall on it, drop them. Happy days. And that's it. As simple as that. It probably cost you, I think this this aluminium tube and your fixings. I think all in all, you're probably looking about 50 quid. It's not a lot of money. If you want a proper one, they cost you a lot of money. And you can match it in with them. <laughs> you want to be a bit thingy, but you can match it in with your van. You buy these in all colours. You get them in um, uh, camo, you get them black, you get them white, you get them clear. But clear would be cool. Um, that is literally it. Right, I apologise for any wind noise because. As you can see, look, I'm on a lake, doing a bit of catfishing, unsuccessfully at the minute, but that's another story. So, anyway, we'll go through, now it's back out, we'll go through the components of it. So, bring you here. So, where are we? There we go, look. So, one of the extendable roller poles, two of the extendable roller poles. I didn't because some of these was from other things I'd done. Um, the, the 
two, there's two sets of two, so two of them are matching, and then the other two are matching. You can buy all four matching, it doesn't really make a difference if you didn't bother. The only reason I would maybe go four matching is just so you want to get some white coat, because these ones are fully black. Right, so it's the same on the other side, so you've got the two, and then here this is where we've got the 25mm aluminium box section. Right, of course. What I've used is, I'll show you here, I lift this up, oh, can we get it? Here look. So these, these are a male, female, flat on both sides. So there's no thread anywhere. Yeah, so these are flat and they're just bolted through the eyes. So all I did is land, land the tarp up, drilled through and bolted them, male, female bolts. You can connect it how you want, it just makes a better job in my eyes because everything's flush. You're not risking rips. You're not risking ripping your noggin up on a bit of thread coming down. Um, in this corner, this is where the bolts that I showed you, that put into the, the, these ones, these go, this one isn't bolted to the thing, this goes right through into the tap and that secures the tap nice and tight. I mean, I'll give that a right go. This ain't going anywhere. Uh, I drilled a couple of holes in the bottoms so that I could stick a peg in and that holds it solid if you get any bad wind just stick a few guys on what like i've got it out before two guys and it's absolutely rock solid right so that's the framework and i'll take you up onto the roof so all i did if you can see let me spin you around that'll be easy look right so i've just bolted uh, awning rail right across and then I got some awning tube so what's the tube that fits into this rail and all I did is I went round just looped the tarp around the thing and I was just taped it underneath and as you can see these bits here these just go I just cut these so these come up so that gives it's not the tardiest thing in the world but you don't see it when you're down here that just gets that into there Um, same at this side. Up into the eye. Oh, that just gives it a bit of lift as well. So, right, I'll drop you around, turn you around, and we'll get gone. Sun's setting. There's no rain, but we've had it out in massive rains. Right, I'll just bring you away from that sun a bit. So, cheap, cheerful, about 50 quid, keeps you dry, keeps the sun off you, the more do you want, and of all things, Joe, I've seen some of these DIY projects, and some of them are a bit unsightly, this one, it's not even unsightly, it's not, it's, it's no, not what you're going to buy from a shop, but it's certainly not unsightly, so, Give it a crack. I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, it's just topped.